while we're talking about current liabilities, let's talk about two pretty straightforward topics, unearned revenues and current maturities of long-term debt. Unearned revenues means we owe somebody some work. So remember, any account that has the word payable, accrued, or unearned in it means we owe somebody something. Unearned means that we owe somebody some work. So let's refresh our memories with a transaction that doesn't involve unearned revenue. Let's say Holy Names University sells 10,000 tickets for a basketball game. Each ticket is $10, so that's $100,000. So why don't you pause this video and see if you can come up with a journal entry for that transaction. I hope you got it. Cash is increasing, so we're going to be debiting cash, and we're going to have a revenue account that's going to increase with a credit. So we're going to debit cash for $100,000 and credit ticket revenue. Remember, ticket revenue is a revenue account. It increases with credits. It isn't cash. It keeps track of our sales whether we get paid today, tomorrow, or never. In this case, we got paid today. On the day of the game, we collected the cash. So now let's just change the facts a little bit. Let's say that we sell out all our home games in advance by selling season tickets. And we've got five home games, $100,000 each. So that's $500,000. So what's happening to cash? Cash is going up, so we're going to be debiting cash. Cash is an asset. Assets increase with debit. But we haven't earned that revenue. It's August 6th. Our basketball games don't start until September. So we have unearned revenue. So instead of crediting that revenue account, we credit a liability account called unearned ticket revenue. And we make a little note to remind ourselves exactly what happened. So we sold out five home games. Somebody, all our uh, customers paid us $500,000 cash. And we now have a liability on our books that shows that we owe the world $500,000 worth of basketball entertainment. Then as we provide that entertainment, as we play those basketball games, we convert that liability into a revenue account. So let's say we play our first game. And so that's worth $100,000, 10,000 seats times $10 a seat. So we reduce the liability by $100,000 and we book ticket revenue of $100,000. Remember, a revenue account keeps track of our sales, whether we got paid today, tomorrow, or never. And in this case, we got paid yesterday. We got paid back in August, but we finally provided the service. We finally get to book the revenue on our income statement. And so that's all there is to unearned revenue. The tricky part is to remember when the cash changed hands and the cash changed hands before. So when we provide the services, we simply reduce the liability account and finally book the revenue. Now there's super straightforward topic, current maturities of long-term debt. So if we enter into a long-term mortgage, our payment is gonna stay the same over the life of that mortgage. And each payment is gonna include some interest and some principal. The principal portions that are due within the next year are current liabilities. So for example, let's pretend like we borrow $800,000 on December 1st, 2016, and we're going to repay it over 30 years at a fixed interest rate of 4%. When we prepare our balance sheet on December 31st, 2016, we've got to show the current portion and the long-term portion of our debt. And well, how do we figure out what the current portion is? Well, we create an amortization schedule. An amortization schedule is pretty simple, really. We know the balance is $800,000. One month has gone by now, so we own one month's worth of interest. But our total payment is 3819.32. We get that either from a financial calculator or from using the equals PMT command in Excel. So this is one month's worth of interest. This is 4% divided by 12 because we only want one month times the balance. We make a total payment of 3819.32. We only owe 2666.67 in interest. So this minus this must be the part that applies to principal and that reduces our principal balance. We do the same thing for the February payment. The payment stays the same, but we owe a little bit less interest now because the balance is a little bit smaller due to that last principal payment. So total payment, minus the interest gives us the principal portion and again we reduce the balance. We do that for 360 payments, 30 months times 12 months, 30 years times 12 months is 360 payments. 
and the thing eventually zeroes out. But now it's December 31st, it's time to make our balance sheet. How much is the current portion? The current portion are these principal payments that are due in the next year. Those total $14,088.29. So on our end of the year balance sheet, this will be the current portion of long-term debt. This 785911.71 will be the long-term long -term portion. So those two topics are pretty straightforward. Unearned revenue means somebody pays us in advance. We debit cash, credit unearned revenue, and then as we earn it, we simply reduce that liability and book the revenue account with a credit. Current maturity is long-term debt means to look at our mortgage or our, whatever our long-term debt instrument is and figure out what the principal payments that are due the next year. And that's the current portion. That's all there is to it.